In this video, we will briefly go over some practical methods to increase your team's success in recruiting patients into clinical studies. We will talk about how to better understand your target population prior to recruitment, how to engage and communicate with potential study participants during recruitment, and what are some digital recruitment methods, including the use of social media. The first step to successful study recruitment is to do a bit of research in order to better understand your target population. Start by talking to members of your intended population. Ask them what their hesitations might be when it comes to partaking in the research study. Ask them about how they prefer to be contacted, by phone, by mail, on a website, etc. Using a multi-pronged approach to recruitment will ensure you are maximizing opportunities to enroll as many eligible participants as possible. Taking a patient-centric approach can help you anticipate potential reasons why members of your intended population may not be able to participate in your research. For example, multiple barriers can affect participation, such as technological barriers, geographic and transportation-related barriers, lack of knowledge about clinical research, and deep-rooted fears or stigmas surrounding research participation. Proactively addressing as many of these barriers in advance can help you avoid problems later on. Study teams can use traditional and digital methods for recruitment. Traditional recruitment strategies include print materials, billboards, radio, magazine and newspaper advertisements, physician referrals, chart review, and targeting local businesses that cater to your intended population so that they can help disseminate information about your study. However, the focus of this video will be to provide you with information about innovative and novel digital strategies. Digital recruitment may involve creating a landing page for your study where potential participants can learn more about what the study entails, as well as the use of social media advertising to target those who meet your eligibility criteria. Social media platforms allow users to segment and target certain populations based on demographics, such as their age, sex, and geographic location, to name a few. Finally, investigators and study personnel can also use online forums and support groups that are focused on a specific disease or condition to identify potential participants. Using digital and social media to disseminate information about active research studies has actually become an increasingly popular strategy. So to meet the local demand, we have designed a free online service and tool called the Clinical Studies Directory. It is a public search tool that allows patients and potential study participants to learn about active studies, and it allows PIs to use it as a recruitment tool. So when it comes to digital and social media platforms, there are actually quite a few that can be leveraged for recruitment purposes. Well-known platforms, of course, include Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. But there are also others like Reddit, Craigslist, and Snapchat, or Google search engine marketing like Google AdWords. Understanding the type of digital and social media platform that your target audience uses will help you to determine which one you should actually use for your recruitment and for purchasing ads. So generally, each platform has a specific website, pricing model, and process for purchasing these ads. Digital and social media offer a unique opportunity to actually test the messages. Testing messages on, on these media will help you reveal which ones are more effective and resonate more with your target population. It is called A-B testing and refers to the concept that small differences in messaging such as changing the title, the photo, um, or differences in, in simply the appeal can improve message efficacy. The Southern California Clinical and Translational Science Institute, or SCCTI, provides a suite of recruitment services to meet your study's needs. For more information, please visit our website at sc-ctsi.org. Thank you.